Good afternoon, everyone. Today, we're going to discuss again a new lesson in English. Now, kindly get a pen and a paper so that you could take down notes later. So, as you can see on your screen, we have here two pictures taken from the same place, but on a different timeline. So, those are taken on the same place, but a different timeline. So, kindly observe the picture. Have you noticed changes on the two pictures? Are they the same or is there a big difference already? So, as you can see, there are a lot of changes based from the first picture to the second picture, particularly on the second picture already. So, you could see a lot of new buildings or infrastructures that are being developed through time. You could also see how modernized their place is already. So, you can see high buildings here while on this one, they don't really have high buildings. We have here a tower and this is called as the Marina Bay Sands. And it is considered as one of the most beautiful tourist spot in Singapore. So since we are talking about change, I have here a poem that is all about change. But before that, let me ask you a question. Have you ever tried riding on a boat or a ship have you tried riding a boat or a ship if yes what do you think makes it float what makes a boat or a ship float okay very good it is water so how does the water move the water moves by flow or by waves. And there is a similarity between a wave and a flow of water. Their similarity is that they both move forward. So just like us, people, we change to move forward to success. We need to be like the wave or the flow of water we need to move forward not backward even though life may seem so unfair and difficult we need to move forward it is okay to look back but always remember to move forward not backward so since we are talking about change and movement of water so we are going to have a poem about the bomb boat cruise but before we proceed with that one i have here difficult words so let's unlock first by looking for their definitions as they are used in a sentence let us unlock first the difficult words so that you could further understand the poem the first one is a building looms every now and then in Singapore. Looms means appears. So, a building appears every now and then in Singapore. Next, there were a number of conspicuous changes in the appearance of the mansion. Our difficult word is conspicuous. And conspicuous means noticeable. Next, the man was immediately released after a year of confinement. What do you mean when we say confinement? It means detention. The Merlion is 
famous for its grotesque and unique appearance. What do you mean when you say grotesque? Based from the word unique. It means extraordinary. Next, one of the best traits of a good speaker is a clear and audible voice. What do you mean when you say audible? Loud voice. Now that we have unlocked the difficult words, we are now ready to read and discuss the poem entitled Bumble Cruise on the Singapore River by Miriam Wei Wei Lo. Here's the poem. Now, what I want you to do is you could post this video. Post this video first and read the poem. After reading and understanding the poem, kindly click the play button again in order to continue for our discussion. Once again, post this video first and read the poem. After reading, you could now continue to play on our discussion. So, the poem is all about a bumboat cruise on a Singapore river. And it is written by Miriam Wei Wei Lo. So, it is all about her experiences upon traveling to Singapore and visiting the bumboat cruise. So, this is all about her experiences. So, now, let's try to cite some lines where there are proof of changes because we are talking about changes and according to Miriam, uh, this writing of her is all about the changes that has happened in Singapore. Let us try to cite some lines where there are proofs of changes. So we have here, Sometimes my customers ask me to take them to a destination, but it is no longer there. Everything in Singapore is changing all the time. Strong gestures, manic conviction, this is good, we are never bored. Nothing short of a miracle. This small wooden boat, which is taking us now past Boat Quay, in its current incarnation past the Fullerton Hotel. So it's very obvious there is a change in here already because the second line, the customer so is asking him to take them to a destination but it is no longer there. So there are destinations already in Singapore that are not there so they have been changed already and singapore is changing all the time which means they are adapting to the changes they are adapting to the current time they are adapting already to what is needed as of the moment which is also good and bad at the same time and it says here they are never bored because they keep on changing they keep on looking for new things. So, how can we say that change in, ring in Singapore is really fast? So, based from the poem, we can say that the changes in Singapore moves really fast because there are exchanges of new ideas. And we all know that Singapore is a rich country. Singapore is a well-developed country already. That's why a lot of us also wants to visit Singapore, right? Because of their majestic or beautiful sceneries. And what else? 
we could say that it is really fast because a line says that they are never bored, which means Singapore is changing all the time. As long as there are new the, as long as there are new discoveries, they try to adopt it to their country, which is also good. But we could say here that though they are adapting to changes every single time, there are also things that remain the same through the years. And what do you think is that? They are adapting to the new changes every time, but there are certain things that don't change at all. And those are their cultures. So, even though they keep on changing all the time, even though they keep on adopting, they keep on discovering a lot of things, one thing that remains to them is their cultures, which is a good one. Because sometimes, when we change, we already forgot our roots. When we change, we already forgot what are we before. So, in Singapore, they may be changing, but there are things that remain the same. And those are their cultures, their beliefs, their traditions, and also those infrastructures which have a significant cons contribution to their country. So those buildings that are important or that are significant to their history, they don't change it. They maintain it because it carries the history of Singapore. So how does the author view Singapore? Very good. The author views Singapore as a fast-changing country. It is a fast-changing country which brought development. And Bamboat Cruise on the Singapore River by Miriam Weiwelo, it is a tour because the Singapore River is a tourist spot. Okay, so the Singapore River is a tourist spot which provides bamboat services that takes visitors along Boat Quay, Clark Quay, and Marina Bay. Due to urbanization and modernization, the areas along Singapore River have undergone many changes. So the poem speaks about the narrator's experiences on the river cruise as she contemplates what Singapore truly means to her. So, it is talking all about the changes that was brought to that country. So, just like not only Singapore is changing, but also a lot of countries. Just like the Philippines. The Philippines, our country is also changing every single day so we are not just aware of it but there are also changes in our country but no matter how much we change we should we should be open to changes it is correct because uh through time we are already Discovering a lot of technologies, discovering a lot of things, discovering a lot of new ways of living, we should be open to changes. But, we should be open to changes without forgetting our cultural heritage. Which means that we should be open to changes, but we should not forget our cultures, our traditions, and everything. Because they play as an important role in our history. Just like in our life, we may change every single day. But we should never forget what we are. We should never forget what are our beliefs. We should never forget what do we stand for. If we are going to connect it to our life. 
We could be successful doctors, engineers, teachers, nurses, seamen, and a lot of things. But you should never forget your point of view in life. You should never forget the things that you really believe in. So I do hope you have learned something today. So the bamboo cruise on the Singapore River talks about changes. It talks about how rapid, how fast change could come. And we should be open about it, but we should never forget where we came from so i hope you have learned something through our video lesson for this week so the activities will be posted also on our facebook group thank you for listening